Gotta wipe something off right there. Easy peasy. Car is just completely outfitted for a mom. Hello and good morning everyone. I am starting this video in the kitchen. This happens to be the downstairs kitchen, which might I add, it's not very cleaned up. I did start my day, however, bright and early. Went on a walk with Stephanie and I am still continuing the 5K every single day in May. That has felt awesome. Really great this morning to get out and enjoy the morning. You guys have missed a video from yesterday where we bought a new car. A new car! about a new car. That is yesterday's video. Go ahead and go watch that because I've been driving it this morning. You guys, I'm so in love with it. It is amazing. It's so fun. So much tech. So many awesome things. Love every single piece of that car. We did take the car. I did put a blanket down because we had to go buy some yard tools. We went over and helped Brandon's mom do some yard work. It was fun. I took Rye Guy with me. Some good old service. Felt real great. Definitely sweat like crazy. Hoping I got a little bit of a tan there. We'll see. Came home and the kids actually have places to be this afternoon, but we did tell them that they could swim today because I plan on being home a little bit more. And you guys, day just flies by. Saturday just flew by. Just opened up the pool for the kids. They're having a blast out there. Having fun. They really only have like 15 more minutes to swim before I'm going to make them get out. They're going to enjoy the 15 minutes of freedom that they have right now to get their wiggles out, to have some fun, and then ultimately I've got to take Brex into a birthday party. Kids had the smallest window of time to swim. I also had the smallest window of time to get ready. Ryler is overseeing Braxton and Hazy in the pool. And I told Brandon, I says, how quickly do you think that I can get upstairs and get showered and get ready? Do you think I can do it in 10 minutes? And he's like, I'll set the timer. This is a challenge. I can bust it out. Yep. I went upstairs, I showered, got dressed, brushed my hair, put on the most basic makeup, 11 minutes. This is the sad part though. I have to go out and tell the kids I have to get out of the pool. I told them how much time they had. They were great. They accepted it. So we're going to pull them out, get them where they need to go. This was fun. It's so fun to just be able to pop in the pool if we want for a minute. It's time to go in. Go! One last jump or fall. One last jump. One last slide. Now we're gonna go. Careful, don't run. No running at the pool, children. We gotta be safe. Wait, Stay wait, up. wait. <laughs> oh gosh. Are you okay? You guys are brave. Mommy, I can go backwards close my eyes and close my nose. Oh my gosh, you're so brave. I'm actually, actually out of breath. Got kids out of the pool. Took the fastest showers ever. It only took like two minutes for my first time. You what? I took two minutes in the shower. You know, then we just oh. threw your hair back in a wet pony. Put a dress on, go get shoes, we gotta leave. Rexy has a birthday party for one of his classmates at school. My classic gift, my go-to gift, which I'm curious to what your guys' gifts are for kids' friends. It is always, always a bag of candy and $20. That's what kids want. They want treats and money. That's what I always do. I grabbed one of my gift bag, tissue paper, a card. They're normally $4. I found them a couple of months ago at Walmart. They were marked down to 50 cents. So I bought all they had. So now I have gift cards, gift bags, tissue, and a card. It all coordinates, it all matches, and it looks awesome. We're going to head to the ATM and the gas station, get him some candy, some money, drop him off. Crew's going to go play with a friend. Hazy is probably going to go to the grocery yes. store with me after because we're having a Bingham family barbecue tomorrow. I am in charge of beans and deviled eggs. We're going to go get the stuff we need oh, to make those. <gasps> deviled eggs, are you so excited? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited too. Saturday, super crazy. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how crazy it was, I bought my car with 33 miles on it. I think I might have said this yesterday, but I bought my car with 33 miles on it. Guess how many miles it now has? 100. 185. Whoa. That's how busy I was. I wanted the kids to have a really fun day. So I ran them back and forth to friends. I went to the grocery store. I just did a lot in the car. A lot. After you've been in your car for a long time, you like have the things that you know you're going to use, you love, you go to. I was like, I need to make my own personal car kit. I have Rye Guy here. He's helping me. I have been scouring the internet, found a great way to make a little car kit. So this is all going to go in the console. I bought, this is actually made for photos, organizes photos. It just has these little containers. I have gone through and figured out in my life 
life, the things that are important that are necessary in a car. In a car. And apparently drink mixes <laughs> is at the top of the list. I went on Amazon. I found the perfect little thing. Perfect. Holds it all. I ordered these cute little garbage cans. I'll yeah. show you them in the car. But they go in the cup holder. So yeah, I ordered just... six of them. These garbage cans are fairly small. They can just put like sucker stick or a little wrapper in there so that no junk is left behind in the car. Oh, they look cool. They do look cool. Actually, That's Stephanie it. bought these for her new car. I posted on Mindy's Best. Steph and I have graduated from minivans to now big cars. We're gonna go outside, put this in the car, give you guys a little tour of everything that's in the car, right? Yeah. big purchase. You make a purchase as big as a car, gotta make sure it's the right one. We've been driving it for like a day and a half now, almost 48 hours, and we are going through and seeing all the things that we absolutely love. Right guy gets super into the tech, so he's been searching YouTube videos yep. and yep. everything yeah. on what this car can do. So if you guys are new here and haven't seen the other two videos, talking about us car shopping and then ultimately buying the car, we went with the Ford Expedition Max. We love it. It's awesome. It is gotta be. We looked at all of the big full-size SUVs, all the way from like super luxurious to a little bit more basic, and I feel like this is like right in the middle. Yeah. Um, it has the luxury that I want. I wanted to show you guys some things on the inside that we love and even some things on the exterior. But I'm gonna start by saying like, I really, really, really love the platinum package that we did. Got all the bells and whistles that you would ever want in a car. Also has upgrades like right here is the chrome. It looks really pretty. Even right here. Yes. I don't know, it's just a super awesome. All right, I open the door and show everyone that the floorboards, they um, the floorboards. pop down whenever you get in the car. So we went with the black interior and I can tell you it was something I was a little nervous about. You can see right here, it gets dirty. But I know it's a car and that just happens. We have our little kit mm -hmm. in here. We're gonna put it in. It's the seat that ultimately felt so cushy, <laughs> so awesome. So and then for me, it was this giant screen. Like it didn't have the knobs. Screen. It didn't have all that stuff. Yeah. We're gonna power this thing up. Instantly shows you what seats are filled if they have a seatbelt or not. So Rai Guy, go ahead and put your seatbelt on and everyone can see just what it will do whenever you click your seatbelt. There it goes. Rai Guy just put his seatbelt on, has registered him in the car. That's off. It's red again. That's a function I really love. You guys can see right here, this screen is super awesome, but it gets dirty so fast. Yeah. So Rai Guy. Whoa, holy smudge. Yeah, so okay, I was looking at Amazon and some, one of the things that I bought was this little thing. The kids got one of these in their Easter basket. So inside is a spray and then the actual package is what you use to wipe the screen off with. So I'm gonna do this, I've never done this before. Just gonna give it a little spritz, then I'm gonna use the actual thing to wipe it clean. Look how that good. Cool. It works so good. It's like, I'm gonna need this for the car because it gets so dirty, and now look, it looks brand spanking wow, new. that is insane. Isn't that awesome? That clear. So that is one thing that I'm gonna keep here in my little compartment. It's gonna be super helpful. This car has all the functions that you could possibly want. We talked about a couple of them the other day in one of our videos. The steering wheel is powered, so it moves up and down. It can come closer, it does all the areas. It's also heated, but then also the pedal down here, they can move closer or further away from my seat, which is really awesome. I personally don't like sitting close to the steering wheel. I like to sit further away and usually just the little tip of my toe is touching the brake. Another thing that I love is when we rented the Denali when we were in California, it was so awesome. But the way that you would like put the car in park, reverse, neutral, drive was buttons. I found myself leaving the car on because I pushed it to push it into park, parking the car. Pushed park and then I got out of the car because in your head you push to start or you push to turn off the car and it just messed with me a little bit. This one has dial right here in the console. This is how you just turn it to drive and going to reverse. This is also really cool. You can see 360 degrees around the car. Also the rear reverse camera. There's other angles you can get. Get just the back, all the angles of the back, the hitch, which we don't have and pulling a trailer. It's really awesome. It has different modes. So you can do sport mode when it's slippery. You can do snow, tons of different modes. And that is also right here in the console. Another thing that this car is great on is storage. There is storage everywhere. We have this giant console that has this awesome brown trim on it. It's so pretty. You open it up and it is gigantic. It is huge. I got this big old thing with all of my organized bins here. I'm gonna put it in there and guess what? Still a ton so of room. Maybe I'll turn it to the side so it fits. Oh, look, it fits oh perfect. That is actually perfect. So there's one in here for cords and I have this cord sitting here and I was like, you know, I just wanna have all the cords for the kids because there are USB-C and USBs all throughout the car. Here's another one. I've actually been using this a lot because my phone's been dying and I think it's because, I don't know if the CarPlay kills your phone. My phone's been dying. So I can stick this in there. Then I'm also going to keep, where's my little screen cleaner? I'm probably gonna keep that right here on top. Did get some cash for some birthdays. This sits right on top so you can put whatever you need right here. I think this has tons of storage. I think I could also put some Dr. Pepper and some treats in there. Oh, yes. What do you think, yeah? 100%. I think so for sure. One of my cute friends gave me the best care package. He did put some wet ones in the console, but for easy access, I'm gonna have wet ones and tissues just right here in the door. <laughs> So cute, so awesome. You never know. Gotta wipe something off it's right there. Easy peasy. Car is just completely outfitted for a mom. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
coming to the back of the car, there are a few things that I really love. I had a van before this car. It was super easy to just fold the seats down, but it was like a good pull and a push and a shove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Figured it out over all the years. But this car, Ford Expedition Max, so awesome because right here, there are buttons for the second row and the third row. Push a button, they fold down. So I'm just gonna show you. Let's just do the left side here. I'm just gonna push three, row three L, the left side. It just goes down nice and neat. We have a ton more trunk space. It's so amazing. And not only that, today my dad was here looking at the car and he helped me figure out a couple of things. So this comes up right here. But then also this comes up both ways. It comes up this way and this way. Guess what? There is a little latch right here that I couldn't figure out what this was for either. Half of figuring things out is just goofing off with it and figuring out what it does. So you're gonna pop these things down and then fold this up and it's a little storage organizer so your groceries won't slide all around. There's like little this compartments over here. This is the car jack and then under here is where you access your spare tire. Just in case you get a flat. I hope I never need that. We probably won't touch anything under there hopefully ever. I was having a problem the other day with my groceries rolling around. I was like, what do people do? How does this work? You fold this little guy up. Groceries won't fly everywhere. Very perfect. Also, I think you could totally hide snacks from the kids in there. Just saying. Oh yeah. But then you fold all these up and then you have a completely flat back of your car. Boom. Look how spacious! This really is really spacious. I know. There is so much space. Look at my legs. I mean, I'm a full-size adult, 5'5", five five, so I'm not super mm -hmm. tall. But I've got tons of space. It would be completely needs. comfortable. Ryler has tons so of space, space right there. But every single person that gets in the back of this car goes, look at these huge armrests, you guys. They're so, they're so thick and chunky. They're so awesome. Back here on the second row, I have included a little garbage can for every kid. And then right here, this little bag. It's actually one of those garbage bags that you'd use to pick up dog poo. I just put those in here. Cup holder right here for the kids. There's also a cup holder right here for the kids, but I use this one they're for the, the trash. They have tons of little compartments back here always end up filling with garbage that's why I put these garbage cans in just for the kids to just put their little scraps it is well ventilated back here the kids have complete control over the air also these captain's chairs have heated seats don't tell the kids in the back they don't have heated seats complete with a USB-C and a USB this car has everything our family could ever want and more it's just incredible there's tons of full-size cars out there but for us we felt like the Ford Expedition Max was perfect can't wait to put thousands and thousands and thousands oh I was gonna say thousands of miles on this thing, but you guys, have we talked about this amazing moonroof, sunroof, whatever you're gonna call this thing? It's gigantic. The only downside I would say to that is it kind of does make the car hot. I have an appointment next week. My brother is going to tint the car, make it all super dark, and as well, he's going to wrap it in plastic. A clear bra is what they call it, so that I won't get any rock chips, ruin any of the paint. That will be happening soon. But you guys, we love this car. I hope you guys love all the little ins and outs. I've been in it a lot. I really like it. Bad news bears, I totally forgot that I had to do a 5K today. So we went and did a fun family dinner and then I got home and started my 5K at 10 p.m. Just did it on the treadmill downstairs. <laughs> I'm so tired. In the morning and at night when I get tired, my voice is not 100% back, still 100%, but my voice sounds like I just woke up from being asleep. When it's late, my voice gets tired. Such a great day, super excited as I drove in tonight with the kids. Did you guys, we get to drive the new car to school tomorrow. <laughs> They're so excited. Good things. We're heading into the last and final two and a half days of school. Kids are going to be out for summer. I can't wait. We have so many fun plans. They have such a fun after school party planned on the last day of school that you guys have got to come back for. But next couple of days, we are going to bust it out, get everything finished. Ryler and crew were showing me their final report cards. So I think basically the next two and a half days are just going to be fun. Come back. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging with us. And we'll see you all tomorrow.